All right, outside here with Howard Fleischman of Community Tire Pros and Auto here, we're talking batteries, car batteries, especially batteries that have to deal with the summertime because the summer heat can really take a toll. Summer heat destroys the batteries. batteries yeah, Arizona. that's okay. a, a better way to say it there. It just completely destroys your batteries here. And you don't want to run into a, a chance where you get outside and your car doesn't start. The average life of the, the life expectancy in Arizona is 35 months. Okay, so that's the average battery life. Wow. So yeah, it's very, very frustrating when you go out to start your car and it won't start. So I wanted to couple, cover across a couple things. Okay. First, we can start about with how do we prepare so that we're not stuck without with a vehicle that won't start, or worse than that, a toy that won't start, like your boat. Right. Okay. People don't take care of those batteries when it's off season, so the battery, when you're ready to go, is going to cause you to be at the parts house buying a battery rather than taking off to the lake. And you're talking about adding what's called a, a trickle charger. And, well, and keeping one on, is that what you're, you're well, talking about? Well, I'm or? talking about a battery maintainer because there's new maintainer, technology okay. today. The old trickle charger was fine. It did what it was supposed to do. It didn't extend the life of the battery. didn't help you get the extra time that you needed from the battery. Uh -huh. Now they have pulse technology. And pulse technology on a, on a battery saver like this uh -huh. will cause it to continue to give a pulse to the battery, causing the the plates to vibrate, keeping the plates clean. Right. This way, you, you can always count on your, your battery from starting. Now, absolutely. let's talk about a jump. In fact, yep. we've got Wally still here helping us out. Why don't you guys take us through how to jump a vehicle, because it, this doesn't always necessarily happen at home. You could be at the grocery store. You can be anywhere, like or somebody right. could ask for your, and, your help. And there's a proper way to do this. Absolutely. The first thing I recommend is go to your owner's manual if you have it. Okay. okay? There are some vehicles that have particular precautions Plus, a lot of times you don't know where the battery is. For example, in my SSR, the battery is on behind the right rear tire. Wow, okay? yeah, you're right. So we'll start with this. If, if, if you're gonna help someone out or someone's gonna jumpstart you, you wanna set up your positive cable first on the battery that will not start or the vehicle that will not start. And then you would go to the donor battery, which in this case- this is your side, right? There is no battery because mine's in the back, but there's always a place to hook up. So well, right here, the manufacturer set a procedure. Oh, okay? cool. Okay. Right. Again, found in your manual. Absolutely. Okay. And then you hook up your negative. And then I don't like going directly to the battery. I like going to a place on the engine block where you can make a solid contact. Mm -hmm. Can I get in there? And now you've got a solid contact. You start the donor battery. Right. Let the vehicle run for a couple minutes and then you start the car that's disabled. Very cool, okay. yeah, and then, and then you should be good to go. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Howard, thank you very much. Love the thank advice you. here. Again, uh, it's a big problem we deal with here, specifically in Arizona, because of the heat, so uh, hopefully you got some great tips on how to keep your battery going, and then, of course, if you run into a problem. Now,